Hey dear ones, happy Wednesday. Katie Sutton here, intuitive channel and founder of Zen Within Academy and the New Earth Now School with your Zen Within Stay update. I'm just hanging out in the parking lot. I just had a cranial sacral appointment and I'm just getting regrounded and before I have to drive home and I thought I would make a little video for you all and talk with you about the energies that are at play right now. We're here in November, and one of our themes this month was this idea of healing the father wound. And when it came through, it had a very strong energy with it, a very strong frequency attached to it. And I knew that there was a big relationship between that particular theme and what we're seeing on the world stage right now in the news, um, especially what's happening in the Middle East. And as I've dived into this theme this month with clients, and especially this one is really big for me personally, in my individual experience, there have been some very important downloads that have come in about the origins of this energy and this wounding that we're healing right now and why it's being healed at this time on this planet. So let me first describe a little bit more about what I mean when I say the father wound. So a lot of us are very familiar with the mother wound. We talk about it a lot in spiritual circles. What I have found is we talk less about the father wound. The father wound is uh, basically the patterns and traumas and energies that present themselves within a family line after a male father has decided to basically repress their emotions and not step into a healed relationship with their internal feminine and do their emotional work. And that might look like the father betraying the feminine. It might look like addiction. It might look like abuse. It might look like them just not being present at all, or maybe they're present, but they're not emotionally present or supportive other than just doing the basic things that they're supposed to be doing in a male body. It could also look like them, instead of dealing with their emotions, they project them on everybody around them and make them walk on eggshells or make them feel ashamed for having emotion, especially the females around them, but also the males. They have children that are or female. And this energy is something that has been passed down from generation to generation. There may be generations where it wasn't as present and the masculine showed up in harmony with the feminine and that's wonderful, but it may still follow down along that family line even if it skips a generation. And I've had a lot of men showing up in session with me who are showing up with a lot of anger and a lot of repressed emotion. And they have an awareness of that, but they don't really know what to do to tap into it or how to move through it. And it's because they're showing up that way, they have maybe children with behavioral issues. They have a partner who may be very unhappy and feel very unseen and maybe is very emotionally or nervous system dysregulated. And these men are showing up and there's so much emotion inside of them that sometimes when I work with them energetically and start doing clearings with them, they just begin shaking. And I had a gentleman show up not long ago that had so much anger in his field and his child, his son was exhibiting that in the household. And there was an awareness that this needed to shift, but he didn't know how. And as I started working with him, I got shown very clearly his ancestral line and there was one particular ancestor who had been in the confederate war and had lost a whole battalion of men that he was looking after and when i described this to the gentleman he had awarenesses of this in his childhood he had dreams about this ancestor and what I noticed in his energy field is that a lot of the anger and a lot of the rage and a lot of the things that he was holding deep inside of him were not even his. It was actually this ancestor who had passed this pattern down along his family line. 
And so a lot of times we may be dealing with somebody in present time and we're wondering why they can't move through something or why they can't just tap into their emotions and deal with them. When there's an ancestral component like that, it feels so massive and so big that what I find is people just shut down especially if they haven't been given the tools to deal with those things, they just shut down. And then when they shut down, they're not present for their partner and they're perpetuating that father wound, right? Or if they don't shut down, they will explode and they're perpetuating that father wound or they betray their partner and they're perpetuating that father wound. And so then the cycle continues. And it's been interesting for me as I've been working with this with both my male and female clients to witness that a lot of these father wound patterns actually started with war. They started with the masculine going to war and having to shut down their emotions even more just to survive, just to move through the battle that was happening. And then when they came home, they were still in that conditioned place when they came home from war of not expressing their emotions and the women had sympathy for everything that they had been through. So they didn't bother. They didn't ask. They just shut themselves down as well so that they wouldn't upset the apple cart. And then here we have this long tradition of the men and the women shutting their emotions down. And so if you're in a male body and you have a father wound, it might present one way, but even in a female body, it might present very similarly where you shut down, you go into addictive tendencies, you don't process your emotions, or you could become someone, whether you're in a male or female body and you have this father wound that does everything possible to be loved and you lean harder into relationships that are not serving you and are not healthy for you because you just keep trying harder and harder to be loved because you think if you are perfect enough, then you will be able to supersede the wounds that this person isn't processing and they will be able to see you and they will be able to love you. And so that's how this pattern presents itself. That's what it looks like. That's what it feels like. And if I look at what's happening over in the Middle East, like this is a result of that pattern, right? War is one of the things that created this father wound in the first place. And so we've got something happening on the world stage right now that is drawing our attention to this dynamic and it's up to each of us as individuals to begin to heal however this wound has impacted us right if you have a father that was absent if you have a father that was not emotionally present if you have a father that was explosive and you and and shut everybody down however this is showing up for you there's an opportunity right now for each of us as individuals to do some healing around this process or around this pattern rather and as my belief is as we do that as individuals we start to bring more light onto this planet and more new ways of being onto this planet where we begin to set a boundary with this energy that has been perpetuated over many generations and we say no this is not going to happen anymore i'm going to do my inner work and i'm going to use my voice in partnership am i going to ask my partner to do inner work even though it's uncomfortable for them and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna perpetuate this pattern anymore. And that's how I am going to support the healing on this planet. And so that's a big part of what is up right now. And it is an intense energy. My cranial sacral appointment, I got uh, this rush of emotion that came up in my being about how this particular dynamic has impacted me and impacted all the women in my family line and all the men in my family line. I started thinking about on the table about all of the men that came before me and their partners and how this has impacted them. And I, my father line, I can clearly see how there was this absentee father energy oftentimes and betrayal energy and addictive tendencies. And then on my mother line, I can see how the father was there, but almost too much. And it was maniacal and it was controlling and the women around them walked on eggshells, right? And that dynamic is something that exists inside of my body and it impacts how I show up in relationship. It impacts, if I was a mom, it would impact how I was mothering, right? And so it's my responsibility to look at that and say, okay, 
I see all of that energy and I see all these things, I'm going to heal them within myself and I'm going to start to choose something different in my relationships. I'm going to start to use my voice and set boundaries with these kinds of energies and, and not let the men in my life necessarily off the hook anymore. And this is not about shaming the masculine. Some of you that are in male bodies might hear me talk about this and feel like this is all your fault or there's something wrong with you. No, this started many generations before you got here, but it's not gonna stop unless we all start showing up differently. And that includes the masculine, right? The feminine can't do all the work here. We actually need to stop doing some of the emotional labor for those around us that are in male bodies so that they have to lean into this energy. And it's it's not comfortable. It's not comfortable for anybody involved. And we don't want to push you all, but we also can't keep doing it all either. Or we're going to perpetuate these patterns going forward. It's time that we all step up a little bit more, in my opinion. It's held space over the weekend for 35 beautiful women who showed up to do deep work with me in a one day retreat. And, you know, I told them all, I said, now is the time. Like we got to start gathering together as women. We got to start gathering together as men. And then we got to bring those two sides together. And we've got to work through this stuff because it's certainly not going to change from the top down. There's nobody coming to save us. There's nobody coming to fix all of this energetically. It's going from the bottom up. As we heal as individuals, This these dynamics begin to shift on the planet. So if you're tired of seeing war, you're tired of seeing conflict, you're tired of seeing all these negative happenings, it's time to do your inner work right? That's all that you can do. Stop running from it. Stop running from your emotions. Stop running from these ancestral patterns. Stop running from the truth and start doing your inner work. It's time. And I know that those of you that are listening to this are probably doing your inner work. I know I'm preaching to the choir, but this is just a friendly reminder about why you're doing it. And don't feel hopeless about what's happening in the world. These things are coming onto the world stage. And I've noticed the way that we're responding to it feels a little bit different than the last time it came onto the world stage. I'm encouraged by that. I'm not hopeless at all about what's happening, but we do have to look at these things that are really uncomfortable and decide that we don't want them to be here anymore, that we want it to be different. And we have to do the work to create that frequency on this planet. So thanks for coming to my TED Talk today. <laughs> this is a big topic. It's an important topic for me. It's an important topic for you. It's an important topic for the world. And I hope you will consider diving into and exploring this idea of the father wound and, and journal about it, think about it, meditate about it, do some healing work around it because it's really important. I hope you have a good rest of your week. I am not sure if I'll be on an um, update next week because we've got the holidays here, but we'll see. Maybe I'll um, have plenty of time and I'll drop into doing that next Wednesday, but we'll see. If not, have a great holiday and I'll see you the following week. All right. Bye everyone. Thanks.